Welcome back to the program. Jeff Merrick alongside Nick Kiprios, Doug McLean. This is Hockey Central at noon. Pleased to be joined by Sam Cosentino, lead analyst. For our CHL coverage, new draft rankings for February are out, and we'll get the spoiler out of the way. Rasmus Dahlin, number one. Not exactly yeah. a shock. Sam, give us two seconds on him because he's been well-documented. He's the champ. He's going to go wire to wire, and he's going to play in the National Hockey League next year, and I think he's going to be pretty good at probably 18 or 20 minutes a game and, and be effective in mm -hmm. just about all areas. Now you just worry about you know his size and his, you know, his being lanky and all that sort of thing, but he's got good escape ability. He's got good, good boots, so... Pretty, pretty awesome young man. Escapability. Escape. Esca escapability. Like, yeah, like you from prison, Mac. What you Escapability. have. Escapability. <laughs> oh, right around when the bill comes. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I, I escaped from the table. I did it last yeah. night, as a matter did of fact. Did you? Veteran move. <laughs> nice little place right on the intercoastal. Yeah. Uh, he used to just bend over and tie his shoes. Now he just leaves. <laughs> they won't find him. He's back here now. Philip, right. uh, okay. Philip City in Halifax in a number two. Little jump, a lot of yeah. prospects love, a little junior love. What's that all about? Everywhere. Everywhere he goes. I mean, you, you transition to the North American game. You still score in the World Juniors against older players. You do it at the top prospects game. Yes, it's only one game. But everywhere he goes, he, he produces. He produces at a high pace. And it's not just the goal scoring, but he's got the ability to, you know, he's good in the back check. He works hard. He's got good character to him. There's, there's a lot of things to like about so this I, guy. So I watched him game one this year. I was happy to be in yeah. Yeah. Halifax for playing in PEI, and I watched him, and I was sitting with a guy that actually scouted him and brought him to Halifax, Paul Henry, yeah. and he said, watch this guy. I'm telling you, he was a star in his first major junior game. That's hard. And hasn't dropped off all year, yeah, apparently. It's a hard thing to do. Sammy, three and four. You have Brady Kachuk at four. Yeah. Was his world junior performance enough to get him in the top three? Ooh, he's gonna be—he's gonna be right there, and I think it's gonna be whoever's picking in that spot more, more of the need. Do you like that a little bit more? So if it's a Western Conference team, you probably say yes. So you'll take—you'd take Sajnikov, Sveshnikov, Sveshnikov yeah. ahead of to, to right choke. now. Right now, I would. Right now, Sveshnikov. Yeah, Andre. Andre, brother drafted by Detroit. Just yeah, go with him. I watched him in Bantam. Yep, I yeah. watched him in Bantam playing a Little Caesars program. Did you pronounce his name better back then? I it was Soshnikov. Then. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, apparently. he's on the block. <laughs> they didn't, there was no V in it when I saw him play. They had a mispronunciation. I, I'm just spelling. I'm just shocked that we've talked to Sam here now for three or four minutes and you haven't asked about Noah Dobson yet. Because if there's anyone on this panel that's seen and can talk about Noah Dobson with authority, yeah. it's you. I know more about Dobson than he does. So why would I ask him? <laughs> Look forward to seeing Good you in point. Dallas in June then. <laughs> Good point. We'll bring you in for the one pick. No. <laughs> You have Dobson at seven. I want to know Dobson versus Evan Bouchard. Yeah, I think uh, when it comes to Dobson, just a little bit more dynamic pace to his game, yeah. better skater, size a little bit bigger, not by much. Um, there's not a whole lot of difference there. Like Evan Bouchard really, really thinks the game well, and I love it because can he defend? Well, how do you know? He's never in his own end. Right. Puck gets down there, he gets it out, and and not doesn't have the same forward group that he had in London when he first started out. Right. He's got to do a lot of the, the heavy lifting himself. Sam, anybody on this list that can make a significant jump between now and June? Sarah Noel would be the guy still. I mean, he's. I think he's made a big jump from the start of the year. I know Jeff. Oshawa Generals first yeah, matter, yeah. We identified him pretty early on as being a guy, but he's starting to produce more consistently. You're starting to see some refinement in his game. Yet, when you think about all these kids that play all summer and spring tournaments and all these, he hasn't had Not a him. ton of that. Nope. So when just you start to add now, that hey, mix, Sam, yeah, just starting, starting now with the weightlifting and the extra work and, hockey and training. edges and yeah, you know, hockey training. So I, I think he's a guy that you know he has a chance to move up, a, you know, a, a, a significant amount. There, there's another name we're going to hear a lot about this year, and uh, the same name we're going to hear a lot next year, and that's Hughes, Jimmy Hughes' kid, mention, Quentin, Hughes, Quentin Hughes, mention his Quentin name. Hughes, defenseman, University of Michigan. Next year, his younger brother Jack yeah. most likely will go first overall. You guys had well, him in the was, GTHL top well, prospects, right? Kip was whining in the game because I beat him in that prospects game because I had yeah, Jack I, 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 Yeah, it's... You know, yeah, I, I turned him off. loose. I, turned, <laughs> yeah, I got ripped off. Yeah, I turned him I loose. felt sorry for you. And I said, you're a pretty good player. He said, you should see my brother. Yeah. <laughs> Brother's so Who legit. was with the USA program at that time, I believe. Yeah, he, they're both unbelievable skaters. They're around the rink. Jimmy's everywhere. I yeah. mean, I play hockey men's game 25 years. Yeah. He's there. I go over to Oakville. He's over there. I go now, here. Jimmy's over there. Is it accurate? He's got, he's got cots everywhere. It's unbelievable. <laughs> but is it <laughs> is it accurate that Jimmy's wife was a better player than he was? Yeah, I think so. Because she was, I believe, a Division One player in the yeah, U.S. I think she I was think. an Olympian, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. 
Maybe anyway, they're talented kids. World championship, anyway. Great skaters. And uh, the, ki the kid, that the, the forward that we had in the game was just a wonderful kid. Yeah. So it's great great to see. Yeah, the whole family. Yeah, real real talented. So yeah. uh, quick, before I let you go, tell us a little bit about Quentin Hughes. Well, he's a guy who's, um, you know, a really good skater, really good poise with the puck, walks the line well, can run a power play for you, and he's, like, he's got some some juice to him. He's not afraid to make a really difficult play, probably a little bit high risk at times. Mm -hmm. I think playing against men at University of Michigan has probably helped tone him back a little bit. So he can't really run the show like he was running the U.S. Under-18 program last year. And that's probably been a really good part of his development. You want to get ahead of ourselves and talk about next year's draft and a quick thought on Jack Hughes as we wrap things yeah, up? Yeah, well, that I, kid I, is... I talked to Seth Appert. He's the coach over there at the, the U.S. program just the other day, and he said, this guy, is, he's something special. I mean, McDavid, he's probably not quite there, mm -hmm. but there's, you know, there's McDavid. Different, there's versions, of a, different a, versions of a McDavid. Yeah, that really. Well, I mean, they, you guys saw Dynamic. First, yeah. Just dynamic. Edge work. Yeah. Uh, east, west, north, south, doesn't matter. When you, can when beat you, you. That's what they're saying. When you can skate like that and the hands match, mm. pretty good combo.